We're in the new automotive technology building that Metropolitan Community College is putting together on a South Omaha campus. This building is about 104,000 square feet just in this single building. And as you notice in the background, we have these long bays. We have one on the east side and one on the west side. The east side will be the automotive technology mechanics side and the west side will be the collision, auto collision programs. All of the classrooms, all of the computer rooms, student areas, lounges, that'll be on the second floor. And then all of the actual technical education will occur down here on the first floor. Auto diagnosis, auto repair. So you'll enter this building normally up on the second floor uh, from the upper part of our parking lot. The campus is sloped pretty heavily. So we dug this building back into the ground to make it back down on the campus level. This, like all of our new buildings, will be access controlled, which means that we can give our students cards and our faculty to enter and exit the building. We have a secure lot that runs around the south and the west side of the building that'll take a card access to get into that to open it up. Behind me, you will see two actual lab type classrooms that are down here by the mechanic space. And this occurs on the mechanical side and on the collision side. We're able to pull a car into these labs. We're able to do our classroom instruction with inside them and be able to shut the doors and so the noise doesn't distract from the outside or the inside. They'll have flat screens on the wall. They'll be able to bring up any kind of content that they need. And they'll actually be able to do that instruction directly on a vehicle as they're talking about it. And when they have had their lesson for the day, then they're able to come back directly out of these labs and work on the cars that they're assigned. Hi, my name is Bill Gentleman, along with Mark Wolf. Uh, we are the instructors here at Metropolitan Community College uh, for the new Toyota T10 program. T10 stands for Toyota Training Education Network. It's an exclusive program that Toyota has started uh, that helps train technicians to work exclusively in Toyota and Lexus dealerships. It involves you being here for 12 weeks and then you'll be paired with a dealer, either Toyota or Lexus, and you'll be paid as an intern working with a mentor, applying the things that you've learned in class. Um, after that, you'll be back here for another 12 weeks for a total of two years. We've got gen ed classes ingrained in the system so that it'll help you achieve your associate's degree. Drawing from a five state area, hoping to expand because our student base is based on dealership needs. We go out and survey dealerships in our area and if they say they need one or two technicians, we'll reach out to students in that area. We instruct them but they are employed by the dealership. We try and work with vehicles that are maybe five years old or newer, but as far as the facility itself, uh, the equipment will be newer, it'll be state of the art. We'll make use of say GoPro cameras where we can be demonstrating something on a vehicle and the students can either watch it on the screen or go back and view it later. And while you're here, you're in class for eight hours a day. Some students will go to their paired dealership in the evening and work, but most of them work on the Fridays and Saturdays that we're not in school. The students that are from out of state or out of the city, they tend to go back home, work on Fridays and Saturdays with the dealership that they're paired with. And that's the dealership they'll be paired with throughout the school years. And when they're done with class, they'll be going to work there. So it's a guaranteed job. Uh, I feel the program is an excellent way to uh, achieve your goal of becoming an automotive technician with Toyota Lexus and will give you the certification needed to advance your career with the dealership. Today we're standing in the unfinished middle of our showroom. Um, yet again, this building is built to mimic the uh, automotive trades and, and the automotive industry that we'll be working with. So this is set up just like you would have one of your standard automotive showrooms for new cars. We can hold probably about uh, four, four cars in here. We've got a door on the left, that's a glass door that opens up and we can bring cars in off of the street. Um, this wall will turn into a video wall. We'll have six large screens up here. We'll be able to do presentations. We'll be able to do events here within this space. Immediately adjacent on the other side of that brick wall is our main entry into the building from the parking lot across the street. We hope it'll all function the way it's intended. the main bridge towards the entryway of the building. This is set up so that the college can bring tours from um, our community and student tours from high schools and such through this program and this building and they don't even have to get down into the areas to see the work that we're doing in both collision and auto technology. One of the things about this building that I probably didn't mention before, these bridges will be glazed with glass and that air that we bring in, that we purify, 
and get to the right temperature will be sealed and these bridges have to have glass on both sides of them as well. So that's why as you sit, walk through this building and you see all this glazing, these areas are sealed from each other. So we don't ever have to worry about any auto fumes being up here. We don't have to worry about any dust. Back over here to my left, there will be some stadium stairs. If anybody wants to stop and take a, uh, give a quick lecture about something or a tour group, they'll be able to put them over on those stadium stairs and address them. All of the equipment is absolutely state of the art for training and teaching because today's cars are so advanced and they have so many sensors in them that you have to learn a completely different way to work on vehicles. I mean, uh, the collision side especially, as, as these cars become more autonomous and more capable of self-driving, they're loaded with sensors, front, back, sides, everything, and all of those have to be calibrated um, when you put a vehicle back together or you work on it, and that affects both the auto tech side, the mechanics, and then the collision side as well. So this is MCC's new auto collision body repairs. Everything on this side of that wall behind me is auto body repair. The refinish side is on the other wall. We have that wall there to keep dust and contamination down between the paint side and the body repair side. Every shop in industry washes their cars as soon as they come into the shop. Even before they write an estimate, this is the first thing that gets done and this is our new frame repair area. We will have a Chief Easy Liner frame machine and we'll have a Chief Goliath frame machine. We're also going to have a big screen TV setting up there so everybody can see what's going on. The center block wall will help hold our tools, plus it's also a safety feature. When you're pulling on a machine, if something comes unclamped, it'll keep that from flying and hitting somebody else. We're just trying to replicate what is done currently in the auto collision industry. We wash them, we bring them here, they can get their estimates, they can get their body work, everything can get done in this side. When the body work is complete, then we move over to the other side of the wall and they can do the refinish side and the paint correction buffing on that side of the wall. This area is actually dedicated for automotive refinishing. This side of the building over here for collision repair is where we'll be painting vehicles at, prepping them for refinishing, and then we'll be utilizing three paint booths, which you'll be able to eventually see behind me. We'll have three GFS booths in this facility, including one medium height booth in the center. In front of those booths will be three prep stations. We'll prepare cars for the refinishing process. We'll be able to fit many more cars than we currently do. So we are definitely excited about the size, but more importantly about the technology that's gonna be in this area. And we're looking forward to uh, working with students with modern products on modern vehicles. At this building, we have what we consider lab classrooms, where we'll actually be able to pull a vehicle in with the students disassemble a car and get hands-on in the classroom. We'll have a garage door that'll be able to shut and then uh, when we're making noise out in the lab it won't interfere with what's going on in the lab classrooms as well. The building here at the Automotive Training Center is really meant to mock what you'd see in a body shop today. So at a collision center you would pull the vehicle in, uh, utilize the teardown bays, and then you would disassemble the vehicle, do the body repairs. When you bring it over to body and paint the refinish process would happen behind this wall here, um, and then we'd finish off everything with the sanding and buffing and reassembly. So the building really is organized like a, uh, a well-productive body shop. We are more than excited to, uh, to see our students at this facility. So when we get rolling here in the fall quarter, uh, we'll look forward to seeing you and hope you can be as excited as we are to be literally taking classes in a, a world-class facility.